Good morning. Welcome back to Oregon Coast Fishing. Surprise, surprise, we're going steelhead fishing. Um, it's like March 26th today, so it's super late, way later than I was fishing last year, but I got a report of a river that's producing uh, about an hour, almost an hour and a half away, so we're going to get driving and uh, see you on the water. <laughs> checking out the conditions and I still got about a uh, five minute drive to actually get to my spot a few more miles wow that's me and uh, I seen from the road I seen a spot down here that looked real good and I'm like man I wonder if there's a way to get down to that and sure enough drive past this little uh, little trail right here and then right after that there's a nice little pull out so I'm like well that's destiny so I stopped this is why I don't want to say this is a new river. I've fished it a handful of times, but uh, you know, a big river like this, and one that you don't spend a whole lot of time on, and getting out and exploring and learning new stuff, seeing new water. I think that's what steelhead fishing is really about. Getting out of the house and out in nature, enjoying yourself. So, wow, that's kind of crazy. I mean, don't get much better than this. So we're gonna work it for a bit. A lot of water to fish right here. But this is kind of what I seen up there, was that, that run, I don't know if you guys can see that. And that's where I'm gonna start, and I'm just gonna kind of bounce around and explore a bit. See what happens. GoPro stop recording. All right, guys, first cast, let's go. It's really hard to, to gauge the depth right here, but if you've watched any of my previous videos, my number one rule when you fish in a spot that you're not familiar with and float fishing like this, you know, whether it's a worm or a jig, number one rule is shallow up. The last thing I want to do is get to a spot where there could be fish sitting, snag up, you know, have to break off, make a commotion in the water that could spook the fish and when in reality you don't need to be, you know, there's no reason you can't fish it too there's nothing, there's no too shallow. Water's got some color to it. Nice green tint today. So that's good. Video. Uh, 
I'll put a link in the comments. You can go watch it. Uh, fishing really low in clear water that day, which today is uh, the complete opposite. So um, the spot that I want to go to, I have to cross the river twice, actually, kind of zigzag back and forth to kind of stay stay on the beach and be able to, to hike up to it. But that's kind of my worry right now is whether or not I'm gonna actually be able to cross the river. So uh, we're heading up that way, gonna check it out. Um, see what happens, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill myself to get to a spot. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Check that out. I thought it was glass at first. Then I thought it was like a Jolly Rancher. But that's a rock. That's a trip. How awesome is that? Now I don't want to just go rock hunting. <laughs> that's sweet. I'm going to put that somewhere safe. Back to my kids. Let them fight to the death over it. All right, guys, here's crossing number two. Water's moving a little fast. Take it slow. Try to get my pudding. Nope. I just seen something really cool. I don't know if I'll be able to find it. It's a really cool looking rock. It was shaped just like Pac-Man. Pretty sweet. Alright, we have made it to the spot. A lot more current going on here than it was last time. And this spot, I mean, like, all this stuff, I mean, realistically, you could fish, maybe not where I just crossed, but here, and there's a lot of spots you can fish. The last time I was here, there was, like, I mean, there wasn't much. And so I was just kind of hiking the river looking for anything that I couldn't see the bottom of. And this tiny little hole right here happened to be what I was looking for. And so I cast, fish it for a while, Got a fish out of here. Fished it for a little bit longer after that and then moved my way up river and didn't have no luck and came back to here and sure enough got another one out of this hole. So I know there's fish in it. Or at least there was. I guess we'll find out if there's any in here today. Hopefully.
really last time the the key here was getting the right cast because i mean you got to kind of get it under this tree right here to get the run and they were kind of sitting right back in there so we'll work it with a spinner too but try to get this where i want it to be i don't want to get too close to catch up on a log right there anything at least the log if I want to catch fish not the bottom all right guys forgot to film crossing that last section of the river but that was a little bit sketchier water was moving faster but we made it things we do for fish for steelhead I should say so I wouldn't have done that for a trout rainbow and please don't comment saying rainbow or steelhead or rainbow I don't want to hear it I think we might, uh, might have to run a drift set up through here with a soft feed. That's how I'm feeling. There we go, there's a fish. Big darky. Big dark fish. Oh man, that thing is tore up. I'm gonna try to tail him. Big old head shakes. Like a big dark buck. Been in here for a while. Head shakes better. Ah, we might get the net on him. It's a nice fish. Just a little dark. Definitely not going to keep him. Mm -hmm. 
that. Strong fish. Hatchery. Come on, but I'm not going to eat you. It's a lot bigger than I thought, actually. Now it makes sense of why I'm struggling so much. It looks small. It's actually a really nice buck. There we go, baby. Woo! That might be my biggest fish of the year, Dad. We're just gonna keep him in the water. Oh, he looks tired. Don't pull belly up on me, dude. We're gonna get you out of here quick. I don't wanna have to smoke you. There he goes, guys. Sorry we didn't get a look at him. He had turned, was floating belly up. So I wanted to get him gone quick. That was a nice fish. Good buck. Very dark. Which honestly, that's kind of what I was expecting while fishing the last few times is, you know, big colored up bucks that seem to hang around a little bit longer. And it's good fish, we're on the board. I don't know if you guys seen that, but man, my bobber just, these worms, I swear, you know, you get that little tap, 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 tap. And it's not like, you know, a lot of times when you're fishing a soft beat or something, you know, or even a sand shrimp on a jig or whatever, you know, your bobber just poof, drains, completely drains. And this one kind of bounced, bounced, and I actually tightened down to it and feel him, felt him pulling on it before I even set the hook. So, to make sure I was recording. Sweet. Another one off the list. What do you think, can we do it again? Think there's more in there? Well, fish kind of this whole section with that worm. Nothing else happening, so we're gonna move back up to the top, just work our way down and run this blue fox through it all. See if we can't get another one to play. I'm happy with the way today went. You can't ask for, I guess you could ask for a chrome fish, but that'd be kind of strange in March, into March. I've seen it happen though, so. Let's see. I've got so much water in my waders, it's ridiculous. From the knee down, I should have just wore shorts today. Would not have made any difference. Guys, we are on our way home. Uh, caught that one fish, so super stoked about that. Um, honestly, that's what I was going out there for was, you know, try to catch that big late buck, and we got one. He was wasn't huge, but it was uh, up there was one of the biggest I've caught this year. So we 
wish I would have been able to get a better look at it, but um, I'm glad that fish went quickly because he was tired. Um, yeah, I would have liked to let him recover a little bit, but he chose. It was his choice. Anyways, uh, if you like this video, make sure to go down, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Uh, every time I say, you know, we're going to switch gears, but uh, you never know. Um, maybe there will be another steelhead video coming out soon. Maybe not. So, uh, just kind of play it by ear. Um, kind of waiting for the water to warm up for some bass fishing. Uh, but if you guys want to see some trout fishing, just some stock pond trout fishing, uh, see some techniques that I use. That you know, it's really good to if you've got kids or nephews, grandkids, whatever it may be. You know, get them out there, to teach them to fish. You know, they might uh, they might not seem like they love it a lot at first, but you know, it's it's a uh, in the long run, you know, they're going to come back to it. And, you know, maybe they'll be one of us. So stay fishy. Thank you guys. Get out there, catch fish.